Hi, everyone. So I'm going to get right into the reading. Whatever the cards want to say, please keep in mind, as always, that I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So some of these readings will be for you. They'll be your storyline, your energy group, and some of them probably won't be. So only take it if it resonates. Never try to force it to fit. And I appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much for commenting, for liking the video. If it resonates with you, maybe sharing, uh, subscribing if you want to hear more of these. All right, let's get into it. What is the message for someone out there? What does someone need to know right now? The Emperor, the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, Death, I'm honestly, like, I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm hearing. I'm hearing this fuckboy is going to lose everything if he doesn't change his ways. Because it's, it's like, I don't, I don't know how to explain the energy I'm feeling from the Emperor. Because as you guys, if you've been with me a while, you know that I primarily channel. So even though the cards have their specific meanings, I still feel different energies from them each time I look at them. You know what I mean? Like, I might look at the Emperor and think, like, okay, wow, this is, like, this is a real man. This is somebody who's, who's very, uh mature and honest, stable, uh, protector or provider type. Other times I might channel something different where I'm like, mm, like I feel like, and especially within this context, I feel like this person is that deep down, but oh God, how do I explain this energy I'm feeling? It's like, I feel like this person is an emperor deep down. Like they are a good man deep down, but I feel like they don't know how to get there like they don't know how to be that person again or they don't want to be that person it's like maybe this person uh you know has been lied to a lot or they've been cheated on a lot so they want to cheat on others now they want to lie to others now they want to have the upper hand they don't want to let someone hurt them again so it's almost like God, it's such a, and I'm sorry, just bear with me guys, because I'm trying to find the right words for it, because I'm visualizing it, I'm seeing it, I'm channeling the energy, but I'm trying to find the right words. It's like, they are a real emperor deep down, but I think something happened where they got betrayed, they got cheated on, something happened that really just broke their heart. And it's almost like they made a decision, like, I don't want to be this person anymore. Like I like they shut this side of themselves out and they created this almost false emperor identity because it's almost like I see two emperors inside this person and it's like the the true emperor like who they really are deep down but who they they no longer want to be and then I see this egotistical like you know they think they're the shit they want to they want to have the upper hand they would rather be a player than be the one being played that kind of energy so it's almost like a false emperor it's like this mask this kind of it's like their ego kind of took over after their heartbreak I honestly feel like this person's about to go through a transformation because it's not going to work it, it's not going to work for them to keep being this false emperor and it's honestly it's just such an interesting energy i'm channeling here because it's like they really are an emperor deep down they don't need to be the false emperor they're just choosing to be because they associate being their true selves with you know being heartbroken being left out in the cold so i feel like with what they went through it's like they decided to just basically be a fuck boy um and there's no gender here. Like if you're a woman and you know this is for you, for you, maybe you're in masculine energy. You know, there's it could be male or female. But I think for like 80 or 90 percent, this is probably a male energy that I'm getting here. I almost feel like this might go hand in hand with that reading I just put up a few days ago. Um, what was that last reading I did? I was getting, God, I'm trying to remember what it was. It was like you just see right through someone and you're you're bringing about these changes in their life because this could be this is either you or this could be your person that you're dealing with. Take it as it resonates if this is your energy group. But if this is your person that you're dealing with, then I feel like it's like you're bringing these these changes into this person's life. You're motivating them. You're seeing through them. It's like you're breaking this person's walls down. I honestly think they kind of have some bad karma here for being such a fuckboy. Knight of Wands is the fuckboy card a lot of the time, honestly. That's what I feel here. But they're going through a transformation. 
I also think it's just that it's not going to work on you. It, it, that's not that energy is not going to work on you. I feel like they have more respect for you than they have for most women. And I that sounds shitty. I hate saying it. But honestly, that's that's just what's coming through. Um, I feel like this person may be very physically attractive, very charming. And I think it's really easy for them to love bomb people to say, you know, say and do the right things to get them into bed. It doesn't work with you. You see through it, you see through them. And you're bringing about this transformation into their life. It's like that fuckboy energy. And they know that too. They know it's not going to work with you. They know that you're not the type. They know that you're not going to tolerate that, that you're not going to be interested in that. They know you're smarter than that. I think they typically go for women that are, God, I feel bad even giving a reading like this, but honestly, like, don't, don't shoot the messenger, but this is what's coming through. You know, I got to tell it like it is. This is what I'm feeling. I didn't expect this to come out. I didn't expect this kind of energy, but, um, I feel like they go for women that are a little dumb, usually, honestly, they, they go for women that are a little stupid. <laughs> um, they go for women that are really easy to fool, women that are easy to manipulate, women that are easy to get into bed, women that will give them an ego boost, women that won't challenge them, submissive women, women that won't question them. I think they made a mistake with you because I think maybe you're a little bit quiet and mysterious. They couldn't quite read you. And then it, it's almost like it's almost like it's too late for them to to back out now. You know what I mean? Like they thought maybe you were going to be one of these these kind of naive, impressionable women and you weren't. They couldn't read you the way that they could read these other women. Um, and you're causing this transformation in this person's life. I do want to say like... I do just want to put this out there really quick. Just because I'm reading this, just because I'm channeling this does not mean that I think you should go for this person. Honestly, I think this person is, even if they are a good man deep down, I think they are a player. And I think they have a lot of work to do on themselves before they would really make a good partner. Um, there's, you know, there might be some potential there, but they would have to really make a commitment to be a true emperor, not a false emperor, not someone that's just all about ego, all about appearances, all about sex. They would really need to make that commitment for themselves primarily, you know, not just for you, but for themselves more than anything that they genuinely want to change and they would need to put the work and the time in. So I just want to put that out there that even though I'm reading this energy, it does not mean that I am encouraging you to go for this person or to make excuses for this person. Like, I think that even if you do want to help this person and be a friend to them, you still need to set boundaries because this person, even though they admire you from afar, um, even though you're different than these other girls that they're used to, even though you kind of, you know, you kind of surprised them. They weren't really, you weren't what they expected. They think they were kind of watching you and observing you. And when they, they tried to go run some game on you, they realized that it wasn't, it's like they saw something in your personality where they're like, oh shit, that's not going to work on this one. <laughs> like she's, she's way more independent than I realized, or she's way more, um, you know, opinionated or outspoken or intelligent that I realized like they didn't, I don't know why, but they didn't, they didn't, they didn't realize that about you until, it, you know, it was kind of too late. And now they're the, that deer in headlights kind of energy. Um, I just, I just want to say like, don't get caught up in that beauty and the beast kind of mentality. Don't sacrifice yourself for this person. Um, even if you want to hold on to the potential there and see where this could go, uh, even if you want to, you know, be, be friends with this person, give this a chance, you still need to protect your heart, you still need to set with this type of person, you got to protect your heart, you got to set boundaries with them, you got to, you know, don't don't dive into something like this. This isn't, like I said, this person is still a fuck boy, and they have some work to do on themselves if they're going to get out of this energy. Um so I just don't want to encourage women to go for that either. Like, oh, like, you know, he used all these other women, but you're, you're special. You're, you know, you're the one that can change him. You can fix him and save him and he'll, he won't be a fuck boy for you. It's like, honestly, that's what's coming through. But it's, it's like, don't get into that cycle either though. You know what I mean? Like, I honestly do feel like you are the rare exception where 
you know, he he respects you in a way he doesn't respect most women. Uh, whether that's good or bad, that's up to you. But I just hate saying that because I'm like, damn, like, don't. Uh, okay, I, I know, I know. I need to get get I need to get on with the reading. <laughs> um, but yeah, even though he has that respect for you, even though it is different, it's like you still have to be cautious. You still really just have to be cautious. Just just don't just don't get into that mentality that you know empaths, especially empathic women. You guys, you know, sometimes it's really easy for us to get into that mentality of like, oh, I can fix him or I can save him or I can I can help him. I'm gonna be the one that you know, I'm special. I'm different. I'm gonna be the one that changes him. And it's like even though I feel that energy here, you just you still really need to be careful with this. Um, You still really, yeah, you still need to protect yourself. Because even, you know, healing is messy too. So even if that ends up being the case, and for all of you, it's not going to be. For some, this person's still going to sabotage this, honestly. Um, and it's, it's like you don't want to repeat those cycles. For some of you, this could even be a karmic cycle of, you know, if you're an empathic woman getting into these relationships where it's like you have to change them or you have to convince them to be a better man or whatever. It's like don't repeat those karmic cycles. Um, like I said, I think you can be there for this person as a friend. You can be supportive of them. But just again, just really remember to protect your heart and set boundaries. Don't give in to this person, especially sexually. This person's very attractive, very charming. They'll try to get you into bed. They might try a different approach than they, than they would with most women, but they probably will try to get you into bed at some point. And I know it's probably hard to resist with this kind of energy, but but resist it. I, I would resist it, honestly. Um, yeah, this person's got a lot of work to do on themselves before there's any real potential there. And for some, they're not going to do the work honestly. So, so yeah, don't put all your eggs in this basket. Um, and I kept getting the energy of like a karmic cycle, like for some, so for some, this is almost like, I don't want to say your spirit guides are tricking you, but it's almost like a karmic test where they're, it's like you're being baited almost and you have to, you just need to be a few steps ahead of this person. I feel you, you need to be smart here. You need to use your head over your heart in this situation. Um, but if you can protect yourself, if you can set those boundaries and kind of keep a safe distance um, and let things play out naturally, I do think there's a potential friendship here. So I do see them going through a transformation. Tell me more about this. With the Six of Cups, it's like there's this... I feel like you have this innocence and this purity about you. I feel like you bring out almost like a nostalgic side of this person. Like you bring out who they used to be. It's like there's something in you that's just very pure and, and innocent that that can't easily be easily be used. And I feel like it just it triggers this awakening in this person. It triggers this, it's like this other side of this person here. Tell me more about this. I honestly, okay, just, like I know, I know I said it already, but honestly, be aware if this is a karmic test, because for some of you, I do really feel like your spirit guides genuinely do want you to like, you know, be supportive of this person. Like you are meant to cause this awakening in this person's life. But for others, I almost, I just get this like tricky energy. Like you have a spirit guide that's like, not, it's not like they're trying to hurt you. It's not like this spirit guide is like trying to manipulate you, but it's almost like you have a, it's like a karmic test and they're not trying to, they're, they're, they don't want you to know it's a karmic test. It's, it's like, they're trying to just kind of, it's like, they want to, they want you to prove to them that you've ended this karmic cycle with third parties or fuck boys or emotionally unavailable men. And it's like, they don't want me to tell you that they want it hidden. But I'm going to tell you anyway. So so be mindful. And I think you'll probably know, you know, in your heart and intuitively, I think you'll know if this is like a genuine friendship or if this is just another karmic cycle, like a karmic test that you need to wrap up if you're being tested before you reach that final stage um, of ending the cycle for good. Tell me more about this.
You have two different suitors. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have a tough choice to make because one of them you're gonna have to leave behind. But you have, you have two different men here that are gonna be interested in you. Tell me more about this. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Just as I said it, two different men that are gonna be interested in you. One is a one is a King of Wands. One is a King of Pentacles. Could be a Fire sign and an Earth sign here. Could be just could just be the energy as well. You have one man that's very charming, charismatic, passionate. This could be the the fuckboy one we channeled, and then you have another one that's more loyal, stable, grounded. Don't get them mixed up either. Don't. Don't with with that one that's kind of a fuck boy, don't dive into anything. Even if you do want to see where it goes, I would still just be mindful because you do have someone else that's gonna come in that's gonna be a lot more loyal and more grounded than that other person is. You know, I feel like that that other one might be fun and exciting, but it's like this one's more stable. They're better for more of a long-term relationship. Um so don't get in your head too much. Like make sure you're using discernment when this when these people come in. Tell me more about this. Yeah, you're working on yourself. You're very attractive right now. You're developing your intuition. Like whatever you're doing is working. Like if you're meditating or you're studying, maybe you're studying the occult or you're studying, you know, spiritual, some kind of spiritual practice, spiritual work. I feel like it's working. Like you are building something here. Your energy is very charismatic, very admirable right now. You're setting strong boundaries. You're in your power. Your third eye is opening up. What's the ending for? What's the 10 of swords here for? I feel like you had a block from something that you went through, something that was devastating. And I feel like through meditation or through whatever this spiritual practice is, I feel like you're clearing that block up. Like you're moving from rough, rough waters to calmer waters. Um, tell me more about this fuck boy. Cause I feel like, I don't know. I think the King of Pentacles is going to come up in future readings too. Do you guys want me to, can you comment below? Do you want me to look more into this King of Pentacles? Um, cause I was just going to keep this reading kind of short, but I can do another reading soon on the King of Pentacles. If you guys are interested in knowing about that, but let's focus on, so this fuck boy, this, this Knight of Wands, King of Wands, very passionate, charismatic, charming. Tell me more about him. That third, that, that energy is, is <laughs> that, that sneaky, like, it's for, like I said, for some, it's a karmic test. You got to be a few steps ahead. You got to be aware of this. If you feel like if it feels familiar, like if you find yourself having to do the same shit you had to do with men in the past, like you're having to chase him or you're having to baby him or you're if you see a pattern, I would don't don't do it. Don't go for it. <laughs> um, like if you do want to support him and help him as he goes through this transformation, that's great. But just do it in a way where you're not diving in and repeating a karmic cycle. You know what I mean? Okay, I know I've said that before. I just it just keeps coming up. I'm like, this is sneaky energy here. All right, let's wrap it up though. Tell me more about this fuck boy. What do you need to know about this? King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, the magician. Someone could have done black magic on him in the past. I just feel like she played him. Whoever she is, she played him. 
like she might have been a dark witch she might have been she did something i think she had multiple options too it's like or she just didn't i think i was doing a reading on this earlier where i was like getting that there was this woman that like she didn't really love this man for the right reasons it was it was kind of like she just settled for him i think he didn't see it coming and he got his heart broken tell me more about this Yeah, if he walked away from it, I feel like he could have happiness. But for some, it's like he hasn't healed from this damage from his ex or he hasn't let go of the betrayal. Like he hasn't wanted to make those changes because he doesn't want to deal with how he feels about her. Okay, let's wrap it up. What do you need to know about... I'll probably get more into it later too. Just, you know, let me know if this is your storyline and I'll, I'll do another reading on it too soon. Um... What do you need to know about your connection with him? So we know a little bit about his history, but what do you need to know about your connection with him? What do you need to know about your connection with him? Yeah, just balance, like I said. Because he has that double energy too. He has, there's something about him that's just very sneaky and untrustworthy. And as an empath, you probably see through people it's like you see their core you see that he's a good man deep down but you have to also acknowledge the day-to-day -day behavior the day-to-day -day patterns the conscious choices the conscious decisions that he's making it's not what is that quote? I, that quote keeps coming up i don't know why i keep channeling it but there's that quote from from batman the one with christian bale the first one where it's like it's like it's not who you are underneath but it's it's the actions you take that really makes you who you are so yes, you probably feel that energy, like you feel this man's soul, you feel that he's a really good person deep down, but he has free will. You have to acknowledge this devil energy that he's choosing to repeat. He's, he's choosing to be, he's not in alignment with his soul and he's consciously choosing not to be in alignment with his soul because he doesn't want to feel that pain. He doesn't want to be left behind again. He doesn't want to be cheated on or lied to again. He wants the upper hand in relationships. So it's important to find that balance. And even if you do feel his soul, you need to acknowledge the devil energy here. <clears throat> it's almost like he's interested in you, but he's going to go about it a toxic way because he doesn't... It's like I feel like there is a soul connection between the two of you. Don't get caught up though. Honestly, don't. Yes, there's potential, but don't get caught up. Because sometimes that happens too where it's like you'll meet a soulmate and you'll have all these synchronicities and you'll, you'll see the butterflies and the rainbows and all the, you know, all the, the happy synchronicities like leading you to each other. You know, he'll text you at 11-11, like all of that. And that's that soul connection that is a soulmate. But, you know, sometimes people's lives take a turn for the worst because maybe you guys were meant to meet at this point in time, but maybe he was originally meant to be a better person than he is. But we have free will. So it's like he made different conscious decisions. So so even if you're seeing the synchronicities, that doesn't mean I mean, it means that, yes, it's a soulmate. Yes, there's that soul connection. Um, yes, like this is divinely led. There could be a purpose for it, but it, it doesn't mean that he's necessarily going to be emotionally available and open with you. You know what I mean? Even if there's a potential for it there, there's still that that devil energy he needs to work through. It's almost like I feel like he's going to want to pursue you, but he's going to do it in such a toxic, sneaky way. It's like he's he feels like it couldn't be that simple. He can't just like ask someone out. He has to, it's like he's, he's prideful. It's like he wants to, he doesn't want to get rejected. He doesn't want to be wrong. He, he's not sure if you feel the same way about him. So it's almost like he, he goes about trying to, you know, find out more about you, trying to get to know you, trying to ask you out in kind of a sneaky way where it's like, he wants you to come to him or he wants you to, he, he, does, he doesn't want to be the one. He doesn't want to look pathetic, basically. And so he's trying to find a way around it. Tell me more about this. I 
I do think you are meant to bring transformation into this man's life, whether it goes somewhere or not. It's going to be, you know, up to the two of you uh, for the most part. But but I, I do want to say, like, because you're going to be bringing in this, this ace of swords, this truth, this clarity, this awakening. Like, you are going to break his walls down. You are going to shake him up. You're very different than what he's used to. But in order to do this, in order to really help this man with this transformation, you're going to really have to be strong because if you let this man seduce you, if you let him figure out, it's it's almost, I hate it, to, I hate to say it, but it's almost like, how do I explain this? It's, it's like he does have a respect for you, but at the same time, it's almost like he's kind of trying to find out how to play you. He's like, okay, she's different. Than most women, like most women would have slept with me by now, or most women would have, you know, hit on me by now, or most women would have done this or this. This woman's more confident. She's more independent. So, you know, it, it's almost like he's trying to, like, he's like reading the art of seduction or something. And he's like trying to, it's like, he's watching you and he's like, well, okay, what, how do I appeal to her? What, what energy do I put out to, to seduce her? It's like, he's trying to figure out how to seduce you. So you need to be mindful of that. Um, it's almost like women are like conquests for him. So it, it's, I don't know, even though he's a good man, I wouldn't go for, I don't think I would go for someone like this. Not unless they, they put a lot of effort and energy into changing and over a period of time, not just not, you know, not just like, oh, I'm doing better for a week. And no, this person really needs to work on themselves for a while. Um, but yeah, I, I think this requires a lot of strength on your end. Because if you do give in, like if you do let yourself be seduced by him, if you do let him find a way to kind of sneak in there and, you know, figure out what works on you, if you give in to him, especially sexually, I hate, ugh, I don't, I don't know if I like this man's energy because it just kind of seems like it's like he tries to get women in bed, but it almost feels like he ghosts them after he sleeps with them. Like he has sex with them and then it's like, he feels like he won. You know what I mean? Like he feels like a sense of power. Like, oh, I, I seduce this woman on to the next one. You know what I mean? So if you really want to bring change to this person's life, you, you have to, you have to keep it in your pants, honestly, because you, you, you can't let him drag you in and seduce you because then he's just gonna, even though he has some kind of respect for you and he does see you as different than other women he's, you know, dated or been interested in, in he's... It's almost going to be like even more of an ego boost for him. It's going to get him even further into his his ego, into his lower self. Um, because it's going to be like, wow, that one was difficult. That one really, like, she, she doesn't, I can tell she's strong and independent and sassy and she doesn't give it up to most, but I got her to give it up to me. I won. And then you're probably going to get ghosted, honestly. You might get love bombed and then you're going to get ghosted, honestly, is what I feel here. So yeah, if you do want to help this man, if you do want to help him transform, don't don't be seduced by him. Stay strong. Um, d yeah, be logical. Because I feel like there's something very innocent and pure about this relationship and about you too that he sees in you. And I almost feel like your energy is very healing and I think as he's trying to be sneaky, as he's trying to tune into your energy to find out how he's going to seduce you, he's going to get to know you more and more. And he's going to, it's almost like he's going to be tricked into healing himself. Does that make sense? I know that sounds so strange, but it's like, I just feel like you have this light about you. And so... Like you have a very healing energy deep down. And so he's going to be playing these stupid little immature games, trying to, you know, like what's going to work on her? Oh my God. Like she's so, she's stronger than most women I know. She's, you know, I have more respect for her. Like she's more logical than most women I know. She's, she's not easily fooled by me. Like what works on her? And so it's almost like he's going to be watching you and studying you and getting to know you. And like tuning into your energy more, like what's her weakness? Like what, what works to seduce her? Um, and if you stay strong and you don't give into this man, it's, it's almost like you guys are going to end up, I think, developing a friendship, um, like a, like a solid friendship. I think this man would be a better friend than a lover for sure. At least at this point in time, 
but it, yeah, it's, it's almost like he's going to be tricked into healing in the sense that it's like as he's trying to seduce you and figure you out and read you and he's just studying you because it's almost like a game to him. Like, oh, this one won't sleep with me. I'm going to get her to, I'm going to figure out what, what it takes to get her to sleep with me. But it, but yeah, it's not going to work. And then it, before he knows it, it's like too late to turn back and he's already like in your energy field where he's already gotten to know so much about you and he's seen your light. He's seen your goodness. He's seen your purity that it, it's like you're going to be a good example for him because you're genuine, you're honest, you don't lie, you don't cheat, you don't screw people over. And it's like once he's, I hope that makes sense, but it's like as he's trying to seduce you, it's like he gets to know you more and more. And then before you know it, it's like your energy and your friendship, your soul connection is just kind of healing him. Like it's changing him. It, it's it's like he's going to reach that point where he's like, okay, she's really not going to have sex with me. Um but then it's like he's he's there in your in your your healing energy, your power, your strength. Uh, I just feel like he has such a huge ego that he's almost going to take like a, a leap of faith, but in a toxic way, like a leap of faith in the sense that like I'm going to dive into this woman and know everything about her so I can seduce her because I I can't I can't handle just not having this one woman. All these other women throw themselves at me, have sex with me. This one woman doesn't. I can't handle that. And so it's almost like he's gonna he's gonna take a foolish gamble where he's gonna be like I know if I. If I dive in, if I if I really get to know her like this, or if I say this one thing, like I know I'm gonna, I, like I know I, I know she's gonna sleep with me, and you're not going to, and then it's like he he he's the one that gets caught up. He's the one, you know what I mean? Like he's the one that's just kind of stuck, like past the point of no return, just in your energy where it's like oh shit, like you expose him, not in, not expose him in like a malicious way, but just your light kind of expo exposes his. It's almost like your light is going to clear out his, his demons, his, um, it's like the truth is going to be brought to light. You know what I mean? Like the traumas, the things that he's been hiding from, and it could even be a deep conversation. Like he might be like, okay, this woman has a lot of emotional depth. I'm going to, I'm going to have this, you know, deep three, four hour long conversation with her. I bet after that, you know, she'll probably, she'll probably give it up. And, you know, he's going to find himself telling you things that he didn't mean to tell you, you know, opening up about, you know, childhood trauma, trauma from his exes, all those things. And before you know it, it's like you just it, it, he's going to be like, shit, like I've got like I've gone too far, but you're really going to help this man heal. Um, I don't know, like I, I, I get the energy, but at the same time, it's like women are sorry about that. I was going to say like, I understand this energy, but at the same time, it's like women are not rehabilitation centers for damaged men. Um, you don't have to do this. You can just be like, I'm, I'm not doing this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like you have to do this. I think the potential for you to really help this man is here. And like I said, the potential to have a friendship is here. Um, I mean, he doesn't, he, at least at this point in time, he sure as hell does. He, he doesn't, I mean, I can't even say he doesn't make a good partner because I don't think he even dates. I mean, I, I think he leads women on and I think he sleeps with them. And then I think once he sleeps with them, he ghosts them. So I don't I don't even I wouldn't even say that, like, there's partner potential at this point in time, honestly, not with how he is now. Um, but there's friendship potential. There is. I do, I do feel friendship potential there. I do feel a soul connection there. But you know what? You you have to do what's best for you as well. You can you can put your foot down and say no. I'm not doing this. I'm not interested in this. Bring me, bring me other types of friends. I don't want this friendship. It's not worth it to me. I don't want to get involved in this. You know what I mean? Like you really use discernment, use your intuition, and and make those decisions of what's best for you. Um. Be really careful not to repeat a karmic cycle that just keeps coming through. There's a very karmic energy here. Even if it's a soul connection, there's just a very karmic energy here where you really, you really got to make sure you're not repeating any cycles here. Okay. Um, let me see. Anything else?
make sure you're getting something from this connection too. Make sure it's not just all about, don't get wrapped up in that cycle either. Don't, don't let it all about, be all about him. Don't let it be all about, you know, fixing him or helping him. Like he should be offering you, even as a friend, you should be getting a mutual support back. You should, your energy needs to be reciprocated. You can't just give and give and give and not get anything back. So I would also be mindful of that. Um, let's see. I just really feel like you're going to be a good example. Like you're the empress. I really feel like you're just going to be a really good example for this person. Like you're really, there's just a lot of potential here for, for some really major transformation. I feel like you would be blessed too for helping this man, but it's like, it's just that karmic energy. I keep feeling that I'm like, Ugh. Because it's like there's a way to go about it. This this situation really requires you to... It's like you can't really let your guard down with this man. Um, You, you really have to... You, like I said, you've really got to be logical in this situation. Anyway, I hope this helps someone. I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Thank you for watching.